Hello, my friends. So, day 13 with a botanical Damn. eye, and today we're looking at blackthorn, Prunus spinosa. Prunus, because it is in the same family as prunes. What are prunes? Prunes are plums. So, plums, cherries, almonds, even nectarines, peaches. So, they're all in that, in that family group. And you can tell because what they have in common is this fruit here which is what comes from our black thorn it's a slow as many of you might know if you enjoy your slow gin and just like your cherries and your plums it has a hard stone on the middle and it has a soft flesh around that stone and if you really are wanting to get into your botanical geekiness this makes it a droop so botanists call it a droop so black thorn as you can guess from the name thorn has thorns go away really so the thorns um, sometimes you can see them they really are typical thorns so spiky and small other times you can't really tell that they're thorns because they've grown into what looks like branches and that isn't indeed what a thorn is it's a modified branch so it has what botanists would call the vascular bundle going up and down it and the vascular bundle is the water conducting vessels or the food conducting vessels so here we have the blackthorn thorn, and one of the ways you can tell it is a blackthorn is not just from the thorns, but you can see the buds going up the thorn, and they are kind of a reddy brown colour, really little buds. They do have bud scales on them, and they are quite pretty to see. One way people can tell blackthorn from hawthorn, which is often the people get confused, the leaves look very different, but blackthorn will flower before the leaves come out. So if you see little pretty white flowers from five petals in March, roughly March, April time, no leaves, then you're looking at a blackthorn. If you're seeing pretty white flowers with five petals and leaves, you've got your hawthorn. Another thing to look out for with the hawthorn is the bark. So the bark uh, allegedly from the name blackthorn is because the bark is black. Now I don't see a black bark but the more you spend time outside in the woods you find, start seeing to see that you get a brown that's a bit of a pinky brown or you get a greeny brown, a grey brown and what I find in blackthorn indeed it is more on a blacky side of brown. Tree. Some say it's a bush, a tree because it grows very small, doesn't really grow beyond usually six, maximum ten metres. It's used a lot as hedging, so you'll see it around fields to stop cattle moving around. And there you have it, blackthorns, Prunus spinosa, uh, with our slowberries. So see if you can see the thorns, see if you can see the flowers, and check out the um, bark.